Howdy y'all, this is Proverbs 28 in the NLT for August 28, 2023. The wicked run away when no one is chasing them, but the godly are as bold as lions. When there is moral rot within a nation, its government topples easily, but wise and knowledgeable leaders bring stability. A poor person who oppresses the poor is like a pounding rain that destroys the crops. To reject the law is to praise the wicked. To obey the law is to fight them. Evil people don't understand justice, but those who follow the Lord understand completely. Better to be poor and honest than to be dishonest and rich. Young people who obey the law are wise. Those with wild friends bring shame to their parents. Income from charging high interest rates will end to the pocket of someone who is kind to the poor. Let me do that again. Income from charging high interest rates will end up in the pocket of someone who is kind to the poor. God detests the prayers of a person who ignores the law. Those who lead good people along an evil path will fall into their own trap, but the honest will inherit good things. Rich people may think they're wise, but a poor person with discernment can see right through them. When the godly succeed, everyone is glad. When the wicked take charge, people go into hiding. People who conceal their sins will not prosper, but if they confess and turn from them, they will receive mercy. Blessed are those who fear to do wrong, but the stubborn are headed for serious trouble. A wicked ruler is as dangerous to the poor as a roaring lion or an attacking bear. A ruler with no understanding will oppress his people, but one who hates corruption will have a long life. A murderer's tormented conscience will drive him into the grave. Don't protect him. The blameless will be rescued from harm, but the crooked will be suddenly destroyed. A hard worker has plenty of food, but a person who chases fantasies ends up in poverty. The trustworthy person will get a rich reward, but a person who wants quick riches will get into trouble. Showing partiality is never good, yet some will do wrong for a mere piece of bread. Greedy people try to get rich quick, but they don't realize they're headed for poverty. In the end, people appreciate honest criticism far more than flattery. Anyone who steals from his father and mother and says, what's wrong with that, is no better than a murderer. Greed causes fighting. Trusting the Lord leads to prosperity. Those who trust their own insight are foolish, but anyone who walks in wisdom is safe. Whoever gives, gives to the poor will lack nothing, but those who close their eyes to poverty will be cursed. When the wicked take charge, people go into hiding. When the wicked meet disaster, the godly flourish. Sorry, it is very late. This new routine, I, I was going to record this from the studio, but because... I didn't want to be waking anybody up and didn't want to risk it. I, I just decided to, to take the drive. Plus, I guess getting a little fresh air is nice. The moon's nice and bright and high. And, um, you know, maybe I'll go work for the last, what, hour and a half after we wrap this. I got an early job as well. So, just trying to stay busy. The wicked run away when no one's chasing them, but the gal there is bold as lions. You can sleep really well if you live a godly life. What do you have to hide? What do you have to hide from? Even if you're in, let's say, a really bad neighborhood, you're protected. But if you're always covering up your sin or trying to hide it or not be found out or, you know, doing wrong to this one and that one and you can't let those two talk, then... It's like, sorry, you're a weird noise.
I think it's interesting. I don't think this is like this in other translations. A poor person who oppresses the poor. Is it really a poor person who oppresses the poor? Is that really what it says? Sorry. I got this cop watching me now. I realize I have my lights on, probably wondering what the heck I'm doing. Evil people don't understand justice, but those who follow the Lord understand completely. Yeah, that's about right. It's better to be poor and honest than dishonest and rich. I think it's interesting. Young people who obey the law are wise. Those with wild friends bring shame to their parents. It's like when you're young, you, you know you got to watch who you're hanging out with you can easily be swept into trouble several times we're told to take care of the poor and to not be stingy you know to to be kind to the poor not charge them high interest rates give them money give them food when we have it really don't feel like being harassed right now. Those who lead good people along an evil trap will fall into their own trap. Hmm. Is this moral? Financial? Emotional? All the above? I'm sure we can come up with examples in each arena. People who conceal their sins will not prosper, but if they confess and turn from them, they'll receive mercy. I think this relates to the first one, man. If you can't sleep, if you can't rest, excuse me, you gotta solve it. You gotta go and confess. You gotta turn. Blessed are those who fear to do wrong, but the stubborn are headed for serious trouble. But yeah, but you don't want to be paralyzed in fear, right? You want to follow the law, but you don't want to become so legalistic that you're like layering unnecessary things on yourself. Oh man, sorry. Wicked rulers dangerous to the poor. A ruler with no understanding will oppress people. We're back to reading about fools. But the blameless will be rescued from harm, and a hard worker has plenty of food. Let's get that bread, literally, right? A trustworthy person will get a rich reward. Hmm. As opposed to a person who wants quick, quick riches will get into trouble. Why? Because they're willing to compromise it? Greedy people try to get rich quick, then don't realize they're headed for poverty. In the end, people appreciate honest criticism far more than flattery. Yes, in the long term, not in the immediate term. And you gotta watch it because, you know, truth doesn't need to be harsh all the time. You know, uh, I heard it said recently, Jesus confronts, but he doesn't condemn. So let us be like our master. Trusting in the Lord leads to prosperity, as opposed to greed. We don't need to be greedy. We'll be taken care of by our Father. Those who trust in their own insight are foolish, but anyone who walks in wisdom is safe. And again, whoever gives to the poor will lack nothing, but those who close their eyes to poverty will be cursed. When the wicked take charge, people go into hiding. Mm. When the wicked meet disaster, the godly flourish. Sure seems like, you know, number two, when there's more rot within a nation, its government topples easily. But wise and knowledgeable leaders bring stability. 
Let's hope we get some wise and knowledgeable leaders installed and get some of these fools out. That's all I'll say on that matter at this moment. All right. With that, I apologize for my stumbling and zoning out a bit, but I'm watching the people watching me and just trying to be alert. So, go with God. Be blessed.